If the idea of making fudge is intimidating to you, it needn't be. There's one secret ingredient that makes it really easy to make. Today I'm going to make a really basic chocolate fudge and I'm going to start with my saucepan on the stove. I'm going to add to it some evaporated milk, some sugar, and some butter. I'm going to turn that heat on and start everything melting together. Now that secret ingredient I was talking about, it's marshmallow cream. What the marshmallow cream does for us is it takes away all the candy making complexity that is involved when you make fudge. You don't have to worry about sugar boiling and softball stage, and you don't have to worry about candy thermometers or copper pans. It makes it really easy. Now a tip for you to get that marshmallow fluff out of the container is to actually grease your spatula just a little bit. Once that marshmallow fluff is in there and things start to melt, we're going to stir in our salt and our vanilla. So you're going to let that mixture of ingredients simmer for about five minutes, but you don't want to leave the kitchen while it's simmering because trust me, you don't want this to boil over on your stove. Once it's simmered, we're going to turn the heat off and that is enough heat in here to melt the chocolate we're going to add. I'm going to add a mixture of milk chocolate chips and semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now remember, the better quality your chocolate, the more delicious your fudge will be. Stir this in until it's all evenly melted. Then we're going to transfer it to a cake pan that's been buttered. And I'm also lining it with a piece of silicone liner because that'll make it really easy to get out of the pan at the end. So it just takes a little bit of arm work to get everything incorporated and all that chocolate melted. And then we're going to get ready to pour this into that cake pan. It looks delicious right now. It's going to be even better when it's set. Okay. So pour this into your lined, buttered cake pan and spread it out as best as you can. Spread it out, make a nice pattern on it if you want to, or just give it a bang on the counter to smooth it. Now this goes into the refrigerator until it's set. It'll probably take a few hours, so sit back, relax, get ready for the fudge. So once this is chilled in the fridge, it's time to take it out of the pan and cut it up. I've got a hot butter knife here. Just wipe off any excess water and you're just going to loosen the sides of the fudge that were against the pan. Okay, now this is where that silicone liner makes our life so much easier. I'm going to just pull it up from the pan and now flatten it out onto a cutting board to cut it into pieces. So again, a hot knife, wipe it off before you run it through the fudge and cut it into beautiful squares. This makes anybody happy at the holidays. Make little packages up, give them as gifts, you'll make friends.